relating mass of product to mass of reactant. The piperazin content of an impure commercial material can be determined by precipitating and weighing the diacetate. In one experiment, 0.3126 grams of the sample was dissolved in 25 ml of acetone and 1 ml of acetic acid was added. After 5 minutes, the precipitate was filtered, washed with acetone, and dried at 110 degrees Celsius and found to weigh 0.7121 grams. What is the weight percent of piperazine in the commercial product? We are given here the chemical reaction involving piperazine and acetic acid to form the diacetate. Remember that in solving gravimetric calculations, all we need to know is the starting material and the weight of the final product. So in this case, all we need to know are the following. First, it's important to know that 0.3126 grams is the weight of the sample. It's also important to note that 0.7121 grams is the weight of the diacetate. Therefore, the first thing we need to determine or calculate is the weight of piperazine. We can determine the weight of piperazine from the weight of the diacetate. Therefore, weight of piperazine is equal to the weight of the diacetate multiplied by our gravimetric factor. Our gravimetric factor involves one mole of piperazine multiplied by the formula weight piperazine divided by one mole of the diacetate multiplied by the formula weight of the diacetate. Substituting the values, we get 0.7121 grams of the diacetate multiplied by 1 mole of piperazine times the formula weight of piperazine which is equal to 86.136. So this is 86.136 grams per mole divided by 1 mole of the diacetate multiplied by its formula weight which is 206.240 grams per mole. So that is 206.240 240 grams per mole. Solving this equation will give us weight of piperazine. And the weight of piperazine will come out as 0 0.29 seven four grams. Next we can now calculate percent piperazine 
based on the weight of piperazin and the weight of the sample. So percent by weight, piperazin is equal to the weight, piperazin, divided by weight, the sample, times 100. That is equal to 0 0.2974 grams divided by 0 0.3126 grams. times 100 and that will be equal to 95.14 percent so that is now the percent piperazine